Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Today's been a busy day for me, so I actually haven't got as much accomplished as I would have liked to. I did get some things purchased though that I do want to use in my book and I want to share that with you in case it helps you at all. This is what I initially made as my kind of prototype as I was playing around with the idea. It's just a normal craft paper and I have um, ink on it, I have a little acrylic paint on it, and I have some uh, a word stamp on it. So it's not the exact look that I want to go through it for, I think. I think I want to try something different, so that's what I'm going to do. One thing I want to point out when I look back at my video, I have this brown. It's the Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Looking at that, I wish I had chosen a gray one. So if you haven't made yours yet and you have a gray toned ink, I would select that, something that would match your box a little bit more if you're choosing to make the box. So um, I had this idea of after seeing the video and everything that I really would like to add pink. I wanted to add pink along with my little postal box. So I went to the store and I picked up some flowers. This is one. This one's just a Hobby Lobby one but I like the the additional little stuff in there. So I thought that would be a fun one to put with it. I picked up some Prima flowers that are always gorgeous. These ones right here. And, you know, that's an option. I can put that right there somehow. Anyway, all to say, I'm going to do something pink somehow. I'm not sure exactly what, but I thought flowers would be fun to work within it. So, just an idea. So, also, I just thought I would grab a bunch of paper and just see what it looked like by different papers. I thought it was fascinating as I flipped through, so I want to share that with you, too. Okay, so here's a map. Like maybe you're a traveler and in the service or something and you got mail from all over, right? So let's take a look at a map. Here's a floral. Gets a little wild, doesn't it? Changes the whole feel. Here's just a soft pink. Ah, let's see, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do my pages there. It's the soft pink little rosettes. You want a soft pink look. This is more of like a Victorian, I guess, type feel. I don't know if it's Victorian, but whatever. You kind of get the idea. That's kind of cool, huh? I like that. Here is, it's upside down. But this is like the cotton. I thought that would be interesting to look at. The cotton by it. I don't know if that's what I would want to use. Isn't that kind of cool? I don't know if that's what I, what I want to use, but I like it. Here's a floral. Once again, I had my mind on the floral theme. So get as much of the pink parts in as possible. It's very bold. Here's a more muted, if you like that, as your background. More contemporary, I guess, with this one. Oh yeah, look at that. So, and, and remember, you're not going to see all that. You're going to just see a portion of it. I thought actually it was kind of fun. I like that one. I don't know if I'll go with it, but I liked it. Let's see what it looks like with flowers. Anyway, that's an option. That's an option. It's interesting seeing. Here's some of the smaller pages. This one's a navy blue. Bold. This one's another, again, a subtle, a subtle look. This one's just all gray. So more of a monochromatic, and you could still add, you know, different colorings in it if you want. This one has the flowers. So once again with that kind of theme. And here's blue. I don't know that I like the blue, but I thought I would try it. Now, in, in showing you all of these, I don't know if I'll necessarily go with a background with just one of these colors. I might do something collaging. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it, just like you. This is my playground. This is your guys' playground. Play around with it, have fun, and create something that you really enjoy. I do want to show you something else I got today, though, that I'm very excited. I stopped at one of our local shops, and they carry vintage mail. So here's one of the pieces of mail that I got. Isn't that just beautiful? Can you see that? My lighting is awful tonight. Let's see, that is from 1907. It's just lovely. And then to top it off, 
there's actually mail in the inside with the most beautiful handwriting. Anyway, one of the things with this whole postal theme is I love vintage mail. I love this stuff. I think it's just touching it, knowing you're connecting up with history. You know, it's just, it's one of the, the grand things. And so I, I got other pieces as well. I don't know what I'll use. I don't know how I'll use it. But I thought, it's part of who I am. It's part of what I want to tell within my story and creating. So I don't, I don't know how it's going to work out, but by golly, I'm, I'm going to do it. Another thing, um, you can add funny stories too. Do you have a funny story that you want to capture within this page? I have this story where I had just given birth to my first child. Suzanne Summers was this, you know, happening thing, and she was selling her products. And she had a machine called, I think, a Butt Master, okay? And I ordered that. And I remember the day that my doorbell rang and the mailman came. And there he was standing with my Butt Master box, fully visible. And I just about died as he handed me my buttmaster. So that's one of my wonderful postal memories. So I might try to put that in there somehow along with my delightful vintage envelopes. I don't know. It's part of my story. It's part of who I am. It's part of the fragrance of my life. So anyway, I hope you're having a great day. I hopefully will have this um, up tomorrow with what I actually end up doing and choosing to do. So I, I hope that uh, you're having a great time making yours and I will talk with you later. Bye.